welcome back. Well, carrying on with our wing section, I'm just going to go into Edge and select those down there. What I'm going to do is actually put in some um, strengthening sections just down here and maybe down here. So into Edge, pop down to Connect. There we go. I'll leave it at one, uh, zero pinch, that's good. Move that right over up to 99. Say OK for that one. Select these again and put in another one. And this time we'll take it all the way down to the other end. So it's 99 there. Fine, that's great. Now let's pop into our front view. So I'm pressing F on the keyboard. Let's bring this down and over here. Just zoom in a little bit there. Let's put it into the root section, head of poly, and we'll do a little rotate, take our angle snap off. I just want to rotate that up to there. And let's just go to our Select and Move tool, press Shift, and we're going to make a copy. Say OK. Press T for our top view, and we'll move it out of the way for a little bit. We're going to come back to that shortly. OK, let's pop down and select polygons. Now what I want to do is just select that group there and hit delete. Now let's put it into perspective viewport We go. I'm going to hit Control uh, Alt X here. So I need to have a look at a few things. All right. Going to select edge. Deselect. Select that edge there. Press Control. We'll select that edge there. Now I've just got to have a look around. And make sure it's only selected those two edges. Bring that over. Yep. I was looking in these areas here to see if it had actually taken it across a little bit. Because if it had, then the next thing we're going to do wouldn't have worked. And the next thing we're going to do is bridge. There we are. And what we want here is that to be two segments so that we've got one running through the middle there. That's fine. Click the little tick there to say OK. I need to zoom into this section here. Just pull it around a little bit. We're going to select that edge there and pressing Control again, select that edge there and again we're going to say bridge it's put to in excellent so we'll say okay on that one now we need to go to our vertex we have a vertices there let's just click off so there's two vertices there actually as we can see they need welding together so if we just go down here to target weld if we select that vertices there and we take it to that one, there we go, that's welded. Now we can come out, pop round. We need to sort this section out here now. There we go, so it's that there. Back to our edge, select that edge. Control that edge back 
then we go to bridge it says 2 that's ok yep same again up to vertices select one of them yeah so down to target weld select that and connect it to there just deselect that for a moment I want to check these out just to make sure that they are yep then you can see that both are moving so they've both been welded let's press undo on that now we need to select all these edges so we've got two there control selecting that and that that there so at least two here and then we need to pop round and go down to the bottom there so pull that across get it more or less centered come out a little bit down into the center we go control select that one and that one that one let me just move around a little bit come on control that one and we go for that one and that one now we need to pop down and we're looking for chamfer so what we're doing here is basically building up restraining edges for all these sections around here so if we hit chamfer it goes crackers again so let's zero it out right click on your mouse and then hit that right key there one let's have a look at two um say two say okay now let's zoom out pan across so you can get a better angle there we're just gonna come up to the root and try turbo smooth excellent good let's hit F4 to remove that yes no deformations there whatsoever good clean geometry around here and down there I'm pleased with that. Now, where's our copy? Let's zoom out, grab it, bring it across for a moment, hit F4 so we can see it, zoom in a little bit. In fact, I'll go to top view now. Now what we need to do is into here polygons let's select those there press control those there those there come up these here we're gonna have to do a bit of tidying up in a moment and press delete zoom in a little bit more see those there so just take that onto there press delete put it into perspective mode onto vertices for a moment there's one selected there it 
rotate it around. That's where I'm looking for there. I'm just going to check out now, see if there's any additional pieces. Yes, there is. Some down there. Select that and rotate it about that way. Back down to poly. Select those and press delete. Now I'm just going to put it onto vertex and down here we have something. We've just deleted a load of polygons and there may be some errant vertices or isolated vertices there. So if we just click on here it says remove isolated vertices. If there were any we've just removed them. Now we can return back to this. Let's rotate round. Press Alt X. Try this again. That one. Control and say OK. That one. That one. Bridge. OK. And we just need to pop round to the other side. Zoom out. Zoom into there. It's like that one and that one. Bridge, two, and OK. We need to go to our vertices. Select that first of all. Rotate around it. We know that one of them that we've got isn't welded, so let's pull it out. There we can see. Down to our target weld. There we go, select that. And into that one. And we need to do the same with the one at the bottom. So, taking this all the way down. We can select one of them. Oops. Take target weld off for a moment. So I've got vertices there. Pull it out. Yep. Now back to target weld. Uh, target weld that. Mindful of the time, I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Music